Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Marina Christensen. Today I will share with you how I edit my model pictures and I have three different examples for you. Before we start, click the like and subscribe button down below, hit the little bell so that you always get notified when I upload a new video and leave me a comment if you like to see more videos about how I edit my pictures. Yes, I like to edit my pictures myself because most of the photographers over edit in my opinion. They really even out the skin completely. Often they um, take away my dot, my freckles if there are freckles, my scar over this lip, over this lip, over the lip and my um, piercing holes. Yeah, they just overdo it in my opinion and also most of them really work a lot with um, color correction and do they not only balance the colors and also the contrast and the, the um, light but they have so much exposure and so much wrong colors in their pictures that I don't like it anymore because when I look at a picture I want to see myself and I don't want to feel like wow my skin is like so extremely perfect in this picture and you know it's just you see I don't know how to say <laughs> that you have a wrong image and I don't want that I rather have some kind of not so nice spots and not the, the perfect hair color I wish I would have then taking then looking at a picture and then looking in a mirror and see a completely different person if you understand what I mean if that makes sense to you when I edit my pictures I only edit very little and mostly just contrast the light and a little bit of color correction because I want to balance the colors a little bit more or sometimes I like to I don't know make something pop but in general I really keep it very simple and I rarely touch up my skin and if I do it's more a spot treatment so if I have like today I have is it on this side I have something on here then I would only touch up this little point but in general I I just leave it there I mean it's not bad we're all human and I think we should be more realistic not like these high fashion magazines where everything is like on point and you get a longer neck and longer legs and a flat tummy and super smooth skin and all that stuff it's not what I think is nice so I don't feel comfortable when I look at pictures and I I look like a flat ghost and I really would like to know what you do when you're editing your pictures and what kind of program you use for editing or if you use multiple ones so I only use one which is Coral Draw it's an older version but I think the newer ones do work the same and I know that Photoshop and all that programs um, do have all these features too probably somewhere else hidden but they all work the same way and now let's go onto the computer and I will show you how I edit my pictures of course the first step is to open the program and choose a picture and then I adjust the size so the pixel and everything to make it a little bit smaller and then I crop it to the frame I want the picture to be. I personally like to start with color correction. So I go into color correction chart, if you want to call it like that. I don't know the English words because my program is in German. So I try to describe it as good as I can. And in this color chart you can change every color and adjust on how reddish you want something to be, how yellowish and bright. 
First I like to go very extreme so that I can see which part of the picture will be affected by this by the change. And yeah, let's start with the red. Red is mostly for skin, so I like to go in this case a little more into the red and a little less into the yellow because the light was very yellowish. And then I can also adjust on how dark or light I want the individual color to be. The yellow is also for skin and in my case also for hair. Because the light was very yellowish I do lower the percentage of yellow tones. Next up is green which is not used in this picture much so I don't change anything but this is really great for the second picture I will show you and then we have cyan if I pronounce it right I'm sorry if I pronounce it wrong this is really good for white parts so if you lower the saturation in the cyan part the whites will be whiter and if you for example add more cyan to the cyan the whitish colors will be more blue and the whole picture will be a lot more um, frosty looking. When it comes to blue, blue is great for black, so you can darken the black colors, the, the black parts of your picture and you can really saturate the blacks. I love that. And then we have magenta. Here you have to be very carefully, mostly when it comes to brighten and to darken the picture. You will see on how much that can change. With this example, you don't see that much of color change when I change the color spectrums. When you have pictures with very bright colors and many different colors, you'll see dramatic drastic changes. I will include this in the next editing video um, that you can see how much that can affect your picture. Next I go into the shade curve, the shade graph in the color brightness graph. I don't know. Here you can adjust the brightness and also you can, as I will show you, you can adjust if the picture should be negative, which can look really cool but it actually is very crazy and has nothing to do with, you, with your original picture. I like to stay in the first lower quarter that I only give the whole picture some brightness. And then I go into contrast where I mo add more contrast so I can adjust if the shadows should be darker, should be lighter, or if there should be more exposure in the picture. I can also adjust to make it look washed off, you can say, so that it looks like there is a fog over your picture. Sometimes, like in this case, I like to go back into the lightening graph, I call it now, the lightening graph, to adjust a little bit the lighting. And in this picture I will also show you how you can correct and in this picture I can also show you on how I correct color spots where something is missing because my lipstick wasn't as perfect as I wished it to be. So I use a tool where you can double colors and I like to use a brush which is not 100% saturated so that it looks much more natural. It's not one big dot that will duplicate one spot you choose. It has more the form of a toothbrush hat, like the bristles of the toothbrush. And this way I can make it, everything look much more natural. And then I'm done and I do save my picture. 
the second picture I want to show you um, I already cropped and everything and I do go into the color correcting chart and start to correct my skin color hair color the blacks and the whites and here the yellow cyan and green comes into play because there is green in the background you can make the green much more green yellowish or you can make it more blue greenish I personally like the green yellowish much better because it just looks very saturated and like it is freshly grown so I like to lower to percentage of all the cyan I can find and which also um, do make any change in the greens I like to go a little more into the yellow parts when it affects the greens but very careful when I go into the yellow yellow because when I add yellow in the yellow section my skin and my hair will be more yellowish so I'm very careful by the yellow in the yellow section but in the green and the cyan section I like to go a little into the plus and then again I go into the lightening graph and into contrast and here I will show you I don't have the perfect skin but I just leave it there because it's absolutely fine and then I do save the picture but it's not finished yet I just like to save it because when I have a failure in the next step I can go back and use the old picture again I want to brighten my eyes in this picture because my eyes are very much in the shadow so I take the mask tool and do only mask out my eyes and then I go back into the lightening graph and very carefully lighten my eyes because I don't want to look like like I have laser eyes I just want to brighten it a little bit often I do make two or three different lightening li lightings lightings in general I like to do two or three different intensities of the light so that I can choose whether this is enough or it isn't or maybe one is too much and that's it for editing I save the picture and I'm done That's it. Thank you for watching. I hope we will see you next week again. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will leave my model Instagram down below. Take a look at it. Let me know what you think about it. And we will see you next week again. Goodbye.